Hey everybody, I want to share a story with you guys. It always comes to me at times of either meditation or when I'm just in flow state. And this is a story about Krishna and Shiva. And Krishna and Shiva, who are gods, were walking in the desert and they were just being together and meditating together. And they had been meditating like many years and being together for like many days. And they really fell in love with each other. And at the end of one of their meditations, Shiva looked over at Krishna, Krishna and she said, would, he said, would you? And you got to understand how gods are. Like gods are servants first. And so to Krishna, as soon as Shiva said, would you, he was like, oh, he was like, whatever you want. So Shiva was like, why don't you go? There's a village right a ramble down that way. And there's a village there. Why don't you go see if you can get us some water and some rice that we can indulge on. So Christus was like, yeah, Krishna was like, yeah, I'm up for a ramble, right? So he took off to the village. And as he's running to the village, he's like, this is just so beautiful. Like everything was just vivid and green. And after years of meditation and just being in love, the whole world just lit up to him. And as it was lighting up to him, he could see the village up ahead. And he walked into the village and he was just in awe of how peaceful it was and there was this house that had this beautiful tree in front of it and the gardening was beautiful and they had this great little uh, garden and he was just like I just uh, I think I'm gonna get my water here <laughs> so he walks up to the door and he knocks on the door and the most beautiful woman answers the door and he's just really taken back by her beauty and he just felt like he had waited his whole life to meet her. And he introduced himself and she introduced herself as Pravati. And in that moment, they fell deeply in love, like deeply in love. And Krishna, of course, she invited Krishna into this house and Krishna met her father and her father was like really cool and uh, Krishna asked for some water and some rice and, and her father was like, dude, we have this whole meal prepared. Like, come and eat with us. And Krishna was like, you know what? <laughs> she was a god. He could take care of himself. I'm just going to partake in this for a little while. So he sat down to dinner and he really, like, connected with Shiva, with uh, Pravati and her family. And he was just having a great time and they were dancing. And he just, as the night went on, he fell more and more in love with Pravati. And as time would have it, they soon were married. And um, she gave him his first son, and he was, like, in love with his son. Like, so in love with him, and just wanted to teach him everything. And his son was just, like, this natural king leader. And since Krishna saw that in him, he just wanted to install servitude in him. So he just really spent a lot of time with his son, just teaching him about being a servant. And then Pravati gave him a second son. And Krishna fell in love with this son. And he saw this son as a healer. And he taught him all the healing arts of his people. And all that he knew as a god incarnate. And then Pravati provided him with a daughter. That he was so in love with. And when she was born he was just walking through the village. Just being at peace with what had been created there. And he noticed on the hills up ahead this terrible cloud. And he was like, whoa, that's a storm cloud. And as soon as he thought that, it started pouring, like pouring rain. And before he knew it, it was like a torrential flood. And he got home with his daughter and he grabbed his wife and his two sons. And they set out to get away from this flood. And as they're traveling, the flood got worse and worse, like worse and worse. <laughs> like so worse that he just couldn't hold on to his family anymore. 
and one by one he saw his wife fall and his two sons and he was standing there alone with his daughter and he just had to let her go in his anguish of letting her go he just drowned it himself as well and he remembered the currents taking him away and he was just waiting to die and soon he just heard his voice his name being called Krishna 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 wake up Krishna wake up Krishna wake up <laughs> right and he's like whoa like what's going on and he's all of a sudden he's back in the desert and he's laying on his back and she was like where's our water and our rice man you just left five minutes ago and here I find you in the sand and Krishna just sat up and he realized that it's like we are all on our own journeys and that we just live in love and that sometimes it's like we just have to let go and just be and have the next stage come through and not be so attached to the way that it looks. So that's my story. <laughs> I love you guys.